Okay, good. So we had the iPads initially as teachers, and I was using it out of the bat with my classes and showing demonstrations and showing examples on the iPad. Um, but I realized that my, you know, myself just having an iPad and trying to show something wasn't really beneficial because it's still it's still kind of small. But when I was able to have the class set of iPads last spring or last winter, um, it was really nice because each of the students could see their drawings or see exactly what I was looking at and hold it in front of them and then could go further with it. They could research more into it. They could examine the image a little bit better. And so I thought that that was very beneficial. Um, this term, we have been really using the iPads as a tool, not necessarily to create art, but in the process of creating artwork. So whether students are referencing an image that they found online, or if it's one that they took with the iPad, they're able to put it on there, they can manipulate it, they can draw a grid on top of it so that they can enlarge the image, um, they can zoom in to see better details, and um, they can listen to music, you know? There's so many different things that they can do, and, uh, but what we have just begun to do, which we're still figuring out some of the, the, the quirks, um, is doing a collaborative art project with another, another school from across the world. So maybe even we could do this with your school at some point. All right, um, we'd be happy but to. But being able to exchange artwork digitally, collaborate on it, discuss it, and then use that and create artwork physically, you know, so we could go from something digital and use the iPad as a digital planner and then recreate something three-dimensional. All right, yeah. very good. So how have you been with, uh, I mean, comparing notes with other teachers? Mm -hmm. I heard that uh, it's not the same case with other teachers oh, and no, with no. other classes. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it's, what's um, your take on that? I think that there's, a, there's people who love it there's people who hate it, and then there's some people who are like, eh, I just haven't really gotten into it yet, but I'm not opposed to it. Um, and I don't think, if, if our school does become a purely one-to-one -one program, not every teacher is ever going to use it, and nor do I think every teacher should use it. Um, but it's kind of the responsibility of the teacher and the student to find out what works and to not limit what we can do in the classroom. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's just the way our, our world is developing. Technology is just so intrinsic to the educational process at this point that we need to find new ways of integrating it. Um, all these kids, they, they know how to use these tools, and so we need to find a way to utilize them to, um, to further our education for their development. All right. How about smartphones? Smartphones, yeah. E the, even my classes that don't have iPads, they use their smartphones all the time for the exact same purposes. So the benefit of having the iPad is that it's larger, um, so you have a bigger screen so that you can look at, but also um, you can do more manipulation using the iPad apps. There are smartphones that have very similar apps, but it's not always the same. So um, I, I let, encourage my kids to bring their iPhones or their smartphones and utilize them if it's going to help them in their process. I want to ask, uh, how, how are the students selected? I mean, how do you determine which Five, students three. get their iPads and then uh, I understand they have to pass it on to another set of students yes. next turn? Yeah, so I asked to have a classroom set for my one of my classes and I decided to have for this class because it was a mixture of my drawing students and my painting students. So I thought that um, because this class is a combination, I might be able to see what the kids could come and get use it for in two different areas. Um, so it was purely random. They had no idea they were getting them at the beginning of the class. and. I think it was kind of exciting for them. So some of them had never used an iPad before. Jamil's nodding. He thinks it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and you know, it's been mixed. Not, it, not everything has worked the way we wanted it to. You know, we're starting this new project today, and we have little tweaks to make. Not every app works properly. Um, you have to reset it. And so there's things that we're still trying to figure out and to develop. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's just another tool that we can use that I think is, it could be really beneficial. We just need to master it a little bit further. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm looking at that sign on the wall. <laughs> yeah. 
I heard it in the conference over and over again. Oh, really? I was in the iPad conference these past three days uh-huh. over there in the in Boston. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the main reason why I'm here, by oh, the way. Oh, good, good, good. good. And this is just a good, good, great follow up for yeah. me to really see the iPads at work in a yeah. classroom. Yeah, and that's in you know what I'm doing with the kids right now is totally different than what I did with the last class. That you, you think it's the really? A, do you think this is really a game changer? I think it could be. It, it really could be. Um, You know, I don't want to lose anything else that we've been doing in the classroom, but I want to enhance it. I want to bring more to it, and I think the iPad can do that. There's no point fighting it? Fighting it? Yeah. For me, I I don't want to fight it. You know, I I really have embraced it. And um, and I don't think, I think that if people are fighting it, they're wasting their time because they're... It's, technology is just becoming so immersed into everything else that we do. The kids carry around their phones with them every second of the day. Uh, they're online. They're checking Facebook. We have, we have a class Facebook page that I post things to. Um, so we need to find a way to utilize this technology so that the kids can do it in productive ways. All right. Yeah. How about bringing... Would you want to come over to the Philippines so that you can do some work yes, over please. there? Yes, please. All right. Yes, I'll be on the first jet over there. <laughs> yeah, I would really, really enjoy All it. All right. So let's see, how, let's see what I can do. Good. All that right. would be wonderful. Thank I'd you very much. I'd love to share every, anything that I can. All Thank right. you. Thank you very much. You've been very nice. Thank you. So have All you. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I mispronounced your name. It's okay. <laughs> Bye-bye.